Well, folks, it's me, Scythe of Accused Squirrel Moggington. And, uh, for a change, I remembered to change the stream title in advance. I remembered to, uh, start the music. I remembered to start the timer. I think I actually got everything right. And then I forgot that I forgot to, uh, pre-type the text post. So I had to scramble to do that. Get that done. But, uh, it's done now. And here I am. Here I am, ready for Squirrel Mog Demo Fest Night 3. The devious daughter of Demo Fest. So, um... I'd like to say hello to... All you lovelies. All my viewers. All my YouTubers. All my regular tubers. That's right, if you're a potato, you're valid. And, uh, welcome back to another night of rampant demos, which I have not planned at all. I probably should have planned a little bit. Like, I probably should have thought ahead a little tiny bit and decided, uh, some of what I wanted to do. But I don't have really anything. <laughs> I'm just gonna, you know, toss out whatever demos come to mind. Whatever looks good, whatever seems like it'll play well. I mean, I got like 30 or so pre-chosen demos still. Uh, I believe we did briefly dip under 30. Like, I did hit 29 at one point. And then I immediately went and found some more demos. And it's true, you are here to watch me do demos! You've, you've arrived at the perfect time to observe demo fest. Ah, uh, I, um, I'm definitely seeing more of the point of demo fest now that I'm actually trying to stream it. Just spend all weekend demoing demos. I don't know that I'll have that many. Also, hello! Greetings to Darian and the birds. Apparently all of you are birds now. That's lovely. Congratulations on that. I was just saying that if you're if you're like a YouTuber, you're valid. If you're a regular tuber, you're valid. Potatoes are valid. Well, you know what? Birds are valid too. Is there such a thing as a bird potato? Just a avianary potato. I bet that would be delicious. I mean, great. Great. Kiwi are close. You know, that's true. I don't know if kiwis count as avians exactly. They are not very... avi. But they are birds. So... Yeah, kiwis. Okay. <laughs> I, I see the choice of soundtrack as landed a bit, maybe. Party parrot. Okay. Yes, party on, Parrot. Party on, Garth. So I'm mulling over, uh, what demo to stream first. And, uh, would you guys like something particularly narrative to start with? Would you like some violence? Or would you like, uh, some dungeon crawling? Dungeon crawling may also contain violence, I'm not sure. Still, uh, I'm just kind of musing, kind of thinking about it. Good feast, center feast. I do have quite a bit of water. As always, I filled a fresh pitcher a few hours before the stream and let it chill. It's nice to be able to just sh have a pitcher of water by my side. Particularly when I'm reading all of these uh, visual novel sort of things. I'm worried that I'm going to develop, like, a throat poly up the size of a large cat. And just have to live out my days never speaking again. Wouldn't that be great? I mean, terrible. 
Anyway, uh, off with the music. On with the stream. The Steam stream. The, stre the streaming stream meme. That was a terrible start. That was a terrible attempt at a pun. Um, all right, I think tonight we're going to start off with, uh, well, why don't, well, yeah, I'm still seeing if people will, if more people will show up. Why don't we start off with Claw Machine Pro? Something very low stakes indeed. I don't know how you do a demo of a claw machine. Ah, uh, let's see. Yep. That sure is a, a demo screen. All right. Currently playing. That's a good sign. Yeah, all right. All right, Claw Machine Pro. Let's... Apparently, we're going to the mall. Uh, the Ice Machine Chill. The Ice Machine Challenge. World View Mall Chill. Mall Food Tour Chill. Well, can we go to the food court? Uh, Infinity... Okay, let's do three attempts. In the food court, waves of food will drop. What? Oh, so it will. Well, I guess, uh, we... What are we doing here? Okay, how do I... I have no idea. This is dead silent, too. This is dead silent, wow. Um... I don't know how to actually drop this. There's no button. Can I not drop the claw? It's not much of a claw machine if you can't drop the claw, now is it? Let's try a different machine. Uh, let's try... Arcade. Start with five attempts, alright. I can move this, and there are balls, and there are, uh, there are so many balls, oh my god. Okay, I'm trying enter, space, shift, Z, X, C, A, S, um, yeah, I'm not really... Like, I like the premise of a, of a claw machine simulator. I really do, because I happen to like claw machines, and I happen to like video games, and I happen to really like the idea of, uh... Is it maybe the mouse wheel? No. Well, I don't know how to make this work. Um... Back, 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 back. Information. Use the P key to drop the claw. Use the P key. All right. All right. Uh, I've got the instructions now. I feel I owe it to the game to actually give it a shot. So. Yep, drop my random sword. Drop the confetti. Uh, all right. Oh, that's good. That's glitching out a bit. I captured a pig fused with a ball.
This is... I mean, look, I could care about this. I honestly could. Um, I feel like the coin game does this better. But, like, if the author of this, uh, if the author of this does happen to see this video, I don't think you should give up on this. I think that, you know, you're trying here. And, uh, like I said, I love claw machines. I, I think you've got the physics down really well on this. Like, it feels like I'm going in the place that I want to. Uh, the, the opening and closing of the claw feels good. You haven't nerfed it to hell like actual claw machines. Like... It feels fine. Yeah, it could be good, and I think it could be better with work. Um... How do I quit your game? Alt F4. Okay. So that was Claw Machine Pro. What I wish list this. Honestly, we plan to finish the game within six months. Plan to include a career mode, a career. Yeah, I honestly know. I would probably not wish list this right now. But I think it has potential. I think it's got potential. Uh, good luck, author. Wherever you are. Alright, let's uh, try something else then. How about Never Looted Dungeon? Which was one of the games that I, uh, I was eyeballing when I asked about dungeon crawlers. This posits to be a wacky fantasy dungeon crawler, and I'm very curious about that. Just gonna update currently playing. Oops. Of course I lost it, but don't worry, I'll just... Does the dungeon have elephants? I don't think it does. Difficulty settings. Uh, I'll go with experience. I do. I have played a few dungeon crawlers. Highlight valuables. Uh, yes, please. Lethality of the traps. Amount of monsters. Lethality of the monsters. Let's nudge that down a bit. We can only nudge it to no or medium. Alright, we'll keep it at medium. Brightness settings. I guess the brightness of the object on the left is barely visible. I will not be doing that. Profile name. Alright, we're going to Never Looted Dungeon. Uh, was that showing up? Yes, okay, good. It is refreshing. Um, it looks like I'm not going out this way. So the only way in is in. Uh, goat skin, some cheese, some apples, bread. I don't think I'll need a plate or a mug. I might need a log. Does fire traverse in this game? Uh, yes, it appears to. That's interesting. Fire propagates. Sword blunt. Oh. Ever burning smokeless torch. All right. A space to jump. Instant pockets. 
Good to know. Welcome to fire. I hope you enjoy your stay. All right, here are bones. Bad condition. Somebody didn't drink their milk. Secret entrance. I feel like Daffy Duck. big of a rock can I low? Oh, I'm a strong... I'm a strong fellow, aren't I? Water appears to slow me down. Uh... Water appears to be getting deeper. Oh, yeah, that had to happen. torches out. Uh, to equip or unequip your torch, press T. Oh good, it pops right back up. Uh, I have lean buttons. I can lean back and forth. R and V, yeah that makes sense. Loot. Alright, mantle on up. Hold left shift to run. I'm a little worried about running when the game informs me that it's full of traps. Gold! This doesn't look like gold. Oh, well, perhaps the gold is over the bridge. provides a nice way to get back up. I did fall and hurt myself, though. I'm giving this place a low rating on, like, whatever forest uh, app I use. Dungeon Tourism. Dungeon Tourism is how I used to think of, like, Neverwinter Nights. Delver, yes, probably. Glory! Yeah, I doubt it. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Oh! Is that something? When you die, the next adventurer starts in the last bedroll you visited. That has implications! Does fire propagate through crates? Yes! <laughs> it's Halloween, motherfuckers! Um, hold on. What does this say? By entering this dungeon to loot its treasure, you acknowledge you are aware of the presence of various deadly traps in said dungeon. The dungeon owners are in no way liable for any permanent curse, dismemberment, irreversible brain damage, or slow and painful death you may suffer. Fire! Good! Alright, um... Wait a minute. Uh, hmm. How many arms do I have? I'm telekinetic. That's telekinesis, Kyle! Uh, I don't seem able to lift this, though. Like, I have to get something underneath it, and I think I may have burned all the...
Well, this adventure is not going to go anywhere if I can't lift the bloody gate. Oh. Technically, if I use an alternate means of entry to the dungeon, besides walking through the gate, luminescent mushroom, no thank you, I'd rather not be tempted to eat it. Uh, if I use an alternate means of entry instead of through the gate, am I still signing, like, the NDA or whatever? The licensing agreement? Am I still responsible for my own death? I'm just gonna relight this from my pocket. Outer gate. All right, well that's a start. I see a ladder in there. There are rats down there. I'm gonna go around them. I have this bench. Yes. I can light a lot of things on fire, can't I? Uh, hmm. Explorer trophy. Oh, well, thank you. I guess that's cool. Question is, um, those rats down there. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, okay, okay. Alright. Let's try with a lighter one. Not quite. Come on. Oh, shit. All right, bye. Uh, swung too hard. Bah. All right, let's climb back down. That opens that portcullis. So this opens this portcullis. Alright. Let's see if I let the rat in. I 
carafe. Oh, a carafe. Aren't we fancy? Okay, like. Oh, you hold to use. Okay. See, I wanted to chop it down, but I wasn't sure uh, how to chop it down. Nope, it's out there, and I'm in here. But what I want to know is, where's the sheriff? Weapon rack. Ooh, that... Mm. I see you. The Iron Kiss. There we go. Gold. A stamina potion. More gold. More gold. And then I can unblock this door. Alright. Uh, now I'm checking for secret doors because, like, there should be. Gold, gold. The old Shadowgate trick. Can I bash crates and get loot? Um, you know what? I'll try bashing the next crate I find open. Some candles. Oh, that's it. Alright, but I want to, uh... No, I want to... Can I, like... How do I drop things? Okay, there we go. Oh, that's a zombie, isn't it? Or maybe just an ex-adventurer who had a bad time. Ooh, loot. A mug and some bread. Really? That's all you got, man? A cudgel almost broken. Here's a bedroll. I can break the barrels and such. It doesn't look like there's a lot in them. Ah, gold. Oh, I got the boots. We're Dark Messiah of Might and Magic now, baby. Right, there's a the little holes. Okay. Gotta be careful about uh, both entry points and exit points. Life potion, okay. Life potion. Probably use that. Run and kick. Uh, yeah, you can. Generic projectiles. I will need those. I can also jump kick. Good. Good to know. Oh, okay. Yes, you say that way, but what about... It's a staircase. 
planet. What is down here? I hear a noise. I hear a steady rhythmic noise. It sounds very trappy. Okay, that's water. Can I loot the corpse? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on over here. Okay. Loot. A goat skin? Aww. Leaf stack? Yeah. Uh, anything else down here? Hmm. Hmm. Alright, that's good to know. Uh, you know, I'm not very smart. So just in case, I'm gonna lay this stone across these spikes in such a way that I will fall on it instead of onto the spikes if I make a dumbass mistake. Now the question is, will I make a dumbass mistake? Maybe put the body back. Well, that one was open. I don't think I'll fall in the open one. Yeah, I'm not going to fall in this open one. says, when you die, you restart at the, uh, the point the last guy left at. So, it's very dark. I'm just gonna... So the question is, can I come down here? Yeah, look at that dumbass motherfucker. Another piece of bread. Okay. Re-equip. Oh, oh, was that a button? Did I miss that button? There was a loot all and a re-equip all. I missed it.
Nice. Some gold, slice of bread, plate, I want the plate. This is, um, I'm really digging this. Pay attention to details. The dungeon is full of secrets. All right, where is the secret on this one? Aha. Aha. No trespassing. Trespassers will be burned, dismembered, permanently cursed, and will probably die a horrible death. No treasure ahead. Nothing to see here. No need to continue. You can leave. Oh, well. I guess the treasure must be over here, then. Hey, a bedroll. Or maybe the treasure is... breaking. Um, maybe if I... Grab it while on it. Uh, it's not moving. It doesn't seem to do that. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm... I think I'd rather take my chances with the Forbidden Capsule. The Forbidden Castle. The Forbidden Dungeon of Dungeonly Dungeoness. Oh god, I can... I'm really, really feeling this game. This has such a Kingsfieldian edge. Potion vending machine. That's so nice. Yeah, you're terrifying. You have a huge mouth. I need the life potion vending machine. Where's my gold? Where's my gold? Yeah. 
in good condition now. I beat the hell out of this poor rat. I'm sorry, rat. Rats come from somewhere. Moderately valuable amethyst. My favorite Steven Universe character. How did I do that? Alright. Uh, no. I don't want to go fight that, um... I don't want to go fight that other rat, because I'm not in very good condition. So I'm coming up here. Hello? Uh, big fat, no, nope, here's some money. Yeah, guys, um, this is really good. This is like Ultima Underworld good. Like, <laughs> This is exactly the kind of thing I look for in a good dungeon crawler. Projectiles. Nothing behind them. Let me just make sure there's uh, nothing down. Hold on. I set this on fire. I... No. Okay. All right. No traps down here. I'm missing, I, my sword is almost broken, but it can probably still cut these banners. What is that? No, I don't want to know right now. I want to see what, whoop, there's a rat. Alright, let's, uh, go this way after all. Caution, wet floor. It's the fire extinguisher. Shell of almost endless water. 60 out of 60 charges. What, you not got any more? Okay. This is another way out to the courtyard. So if I were walking in, I would get shot by the... Alright. I gotta get better about watching for these holes in the wall. Uh, storage closet? Awakening of the Dead Coffee. Slice on knife, almost broken. A broom, almost broken. A schmorkus knife, sharp. It's gotta be better than what I'm using right now. Gotta be. Alright. Use schmorkus knife on pumpkin. I could, I guess. was the rat in there. With the knife, I think I can take this rat. Here he comes.
I'm invincible. How much did I get hurt? Not much. Okay. The Art of Fighting, an introduction. Simply wielding a sword isn't enough to be a good fighter. In this series, we teach you the art of fighting to help you survive your first few fights. All right. Fatigue, movement, anticipation. Can I read the rest of this? No, it's just the introduction. Movement, fatigue, anticipation. Okay. Well, I'm not... Ooh, a spear. My favorite weapon. Now I just need a magic helmet. This door is locked. But you can get to it from above. Now the question is... Where above? Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Come along, lab assistant. Uh-huh. All right. Uh, the room was... Off this way, I think. So if I can reach it from above. Security warning. Following our security audit, we must inform you that the entrance to your dungeon has critical flaws that urgently need fixing. It is not recommended to hide the front door key to the secret room of the chapel located just next to the entrance. The puzzle with the statues to open the secret door in the chapel is far too easy to solve. Also, you shouldn't keep this note, you fucking ignoramus. Client, the never looted dungeon, security audit of the front door, installation of fire extinguishers, treatment of all dungeon doors against fire and magic. Can't burn down the doors. Good to know. Three goblins died during lethality of traps testing. Family compensation is the responsibility of the client. Total with taxes. that with me. Take this with me too. taking this with me. Uh, just in case I need something to weigh down a pressure, pl pressure plate. Mm, gold. A gemstone ring. What is this? Okay. You're a mimic, aren't you? No? Alright. Jump jump boots! Yeah, I Alright, yeah! Oh yeah! Everything's coming up, Zyzy. Can I poke traps with a stick to trigger them? Let's find out. Yes. Lift magic hand. 
some projectiles, a table, nothing under the table, anything in behind these, not adventurers aren't invasive species aren't they? You see that? You see that slit? I bet that's a trap. So I'm gonna stand over here. Uh huh. I hear something. I hear something squishy. Why do I hear something squishy? potion. Um, the hand I picked up says EV lift magic hand. I don't know what it does, but let's find out. Yep, okay. That's good to know. A golden ring, slightly valuable, and a book. Okay, I have not finished this demo, but I think we've seen enough. I feel like we've definitely seen enough of this. Uh, I want this. <laughs> I fucking want this game. This is great. You don't- no, no, we're not gonna stop quite yet. I want to, uh... I really want to at least, like, get into the main building over there, so... Oh, I see a crossbow. Yeah. Hey, baby. me in the moat. But what the hell? Can I kick down? Uh, maybe? But right now I kind of want to... Yeah, there's one of those dark fish. I've been I wanted to come pick a fight with one. See how bad this hit okay. That wasn't too bad. Can I kick down? Yes. Um, put away the torch, take out the torch. There's a niche here. Is there secret loot in the niche? Oh, that's trapped. That's trapped right there. I can see that that's trapped. Uh-huh. Hi there, buddy. I'm here to loot your stuff. Instant barbecue wand. Oh, God. My inventory is almost full. 
Oh, God, I love this game. <laughs> All right. Okay. We're done for now. We're done for now, but I think I might be picking this one up. Uh, as always, the question is, do I want to wishlist this game after playing it? And the answer is, yeah, I really do. I really, really do. Rope arrows. Uh, rope arrows work in progress. I've wanted to add the ability to fire rope arrows inspired by Thief the Dark Project. Guys, you're doing it right. You're doing it right. Oh, wow. This is good. This is really, really good. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I'm delighted by this game. And Never, Loot, Never Looted Demo is definitely, like, right up there in my wheelhouse. Like, I don't know what a wheelhouse is, but if I have one, this is in it. All right, um, how about we try something else that involves chambers, chamber bound? Um, I think this one, when I first started it, I think this one gave me a prompt about wanting a gamepad, so... In chamber bound, we are a ball. As you can see, we can bounce. Oh, wait, hold on. And uh, what we do with it is we play Portal. This one is, has also some, like, black. This one also has some, we made this with some, like, default assets. But it still seems pretty fun. The act of rolling feels fun. Um, not seeing the game. That's true. Oh, uh, you know what? Let me restart it. And did I not update the thing? I thought I updated the, hold on. All right, is it? No, hold on. Um, okay, I think I got it. Show now. Is it updating? Yeah, it's updated. Okay. Uh, I had it set to like the wrong capture mode or something, so it wasn't capturing quite right. And like I said, portal, but you're kind of a ball. What's more, you're a ball, you're a well-lit ball, so, uh, there's lots of neat lighting effects. You can go a long way with good lighting effects. Uh, press X to encapsulate the cube. Press X to encapsulate the cube is one of the, uh, the otter methods of tutorializing that I've seen. You must encapsulate the cube to proceed. Oops. Nope. I fell off. If it wasn't for the lighting effects, no one would bother with ray tracing. Well, isn't ray tracing like 90% lighting? Like, I don't think it has a purpose beyond lighting. And there we go. I don't think I can do that. Alright, what about this thing? Is that what this is for? Yeah, apparently so. Encapsulating cubes. 
for new video cards for it. Well, I do like... I admit, I like everything I've seen about ray tracing. Look, it's even got the super colliding super button. Bounce. Encapsulate. Encapsulate. Cube encapsulated. Let's go. Alright, not strong enough. What does this do? Uh, hold LB to charge up. Release to push or pull highlighted cube. Oh. Alright. Well, I have magnetic powers now. So what? I'm not entirely sure why I want magnetic powers. I don't... I can't really use them from much of a distance. I guess I have to get it up on the wall? Okay. Repulse. Oh, that launches it. Okay. Repulse! No. Oh, shoot. So this has plenty of physics for me to get wrong. Oh, good. I can just give it a little boomph. I do like the sound effects for this. No. Yeah, I boomed it too hard again. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure I like the way it reoriented in midair, but, uh... I suppose that's a puzzle-solving convenience, you know? Yeah, that's definitely a puzzle-solving convenience. The round cube... round cube. Yeah, alright, I'll accept it. Oh, I can just pick it up! The whole time I was bumping it around the room, I could have just picked it up. Okay. Do lasers kill me? An experiment. No, but I do reflect them. Let's drop this. Hmm, alright. Okay, I see. Drop this right here. I'll hop up here. Aim this at that. I can't aim this at that and... No. Hmm. You get up here with me, boy. Alright, all I have to do is block it off. So, I just have to be, like, right here. Cool. 
And then what? What did that do? That didn't do shit. Why did I do that? Uh, yeah, what if GLaDOS was around? Why did I do- what did that do? Did that do anything? Oh, this opens the thingamnum. Well then why don't I just... Bonk. Okay. Oh, there's a thing up here, too. Alright, can cubes block lasers? I did not check if cubes can block lasers. Uh, cubes can block lasers. There we go. This gives me the power of a doppelganger. I'm a doppelganger now. Well, I've got a doppelganger. Press B to recall doppelganger. I recall my doppelganger. Let me guess. I aim it over here and then I leave a doppelganger. Yeah, okay. And then... Up here... Uh... No, but we can put the block there. Jump up here. Okay. I don't think there are very many chambers in this demo, so uh, I'll be done soon. Whoops! Or so I thought. What's this do? Air control! Tap. Press right trigger to dash? Yo, I have an air dash! We're an anime fighter now. Bow, bow. Oh, yeah. Ba, chicka ba. Boing, bow, bow. Okay, and then let's see. What do I need? I need to re-angle that. I need to put that on the wall. Alright, let's start off with this. No, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Alright, I've made a bridge. Now what? Not that. Uh, I can aim... Whoop. I said I can aim this. Alright, doppelgang me. Uh, can I just launch myself up there? Sort of. Oh, you have to hit these very hard. Alright, I see. So I have to air dash into them. These are like impact plates. Whoop. Wrong way. Yeah. Alright. One, two, go. Uh-huh, and now this one's lit up. So now all I have to do is that one. I'm really 
wired like a lab rat, I think. These portal clones generally tend to be, uh, fairly simple folks for me. Gears. Oh, I just want to, like, crawl into the gears. No, I guess I'm escaping. Yeah, okay. Uh, would I wish list this? 10 to 15 bucks. 10 to 15 bucks and I would wish list this. Coming soon. Alright, well. Experience a new way of puzzle solving and parkour by taking control of the ball. Alright, um. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove these two that we've played. Keep things nice and tidy. We are about an hour in. How about, um... How about we try out the Bookwalker? Which is not showing as capturable. One moment. Okay. Uh, weird resolution. Let me see if I can fix the resolution. The Bookwalker, Thief of Tales. Uh, can I... Yeah, alright, let's full screen this. And then I can... There we go. Okay, uh, that's visible. It looks visible. The Bookwalker. Thief of Tales. Um, hold on. Well, I'm gonna wait until it, uh, gives me a chance to pause. When it's loaded. And then I will... update the, t the text. Just to use it. Finally, I'm home. Cool, good for you. Just one moment. Uh, enter various books and do things. Didn't read about this one. We'll find out what you do, I guess. Uh, first confiscation of property, now eviction. Oh. Uh, Mr. Edian Quist. This is a reminder that you may begin working off your sentence at any time by registering with any licensed publishing agency. In the event you work off the full sentence, you will be released from the preventative measure in the form of shackles that impose writer's block upon you. Any other attempt to remove the shackles other than those provided by for by law will be considered a violation of your sentence and will entail consequences. Your sentence will be re-examined with aggravating circumstances. City Writers Police Department. Uh, explain the plort. We're a man and we shoot things for a living. Uh, yeah? What? Hello? Silence. Is this Etienne? Who's this? You are... Vince asked me to get in touch with you. It's about your arrest. We usually offer a small loan to writers who have their licenses revoked with interest. Once you get back on your feet, you can... That's not why I was trying to find you. Silence. I wanted to know. 
I've heard you can break Raider's shackles. Is that true? Breaking Raider's shackles is one of the most highly punishable crimes under Raider's law. Let's say we can break them. However, the price for this service varies based on how complex the shackles are. Are yours the standard two-year kind? No, my shackles are on for 30 years. Cough. Damn, I spilled! Hey, get this out of here! My god, 30 years! I think we can figure something out. But the price will be, let's say, six jobs. That many? But Vince said it would be a one-time thing. Vince should have warned me he was sending me a particularly dangerous criminal. Have you done this kind of work before? No. Do you know what to do? Yes. Good. Your first job is waiting at the door. Oh, shit, that was fast. It's easier to get a new one. I need to put this on the desk. Well, what is this? Independent bookstore, letter by letter, has announced it is pulling all of Eddie and Quist's works from sale. The store's owner, Ryman Fukois, okay, commented, Unfortunately, Mr. Quist's writing license has been remote. We sincerely apologize to his fans, as Mr. Quist's books enjoyed a certain popularity. I do hope Mr. Quist can solve the problems he's facing, and we'll have his books back on store shelves as soon as possible. I gotta put this down somewhere. What do we have here? The contractor agrees to infiltrate the book A Drop of Infinity by Jonathan Bowers and extract a potion of immortality. Alright, I've got to infiltrate a book. I like the narration was from the point of view of the book's supposed villain, but the characters fighting against him just aren't interesting enough in comparison. I also enjoyed the ending, sappy as it was. Alright. Looks like this is where the stolen item goes. Alright, so I have to infiltrate the book and extract a bottle of Potion of Immortality. Is there anything else I need from in here? Hmm. My neighbors across the way moved out recently. Wow, um, no offense, dude, but your house sucks. Your house sucks absolute dick. Oh, well, let's infiltrate the book. Oh. Crunch. Oh, damn it. Landing on a solid stone floor makes your bad knee twist awkwardly. Uh, let's use ink to heal ourselves, I guess. You reach down and touch your bad knee. You start visualizing the ink flowing into the injured joint and healing it. A sudden icy cold feeling seizes your wrists. Ow! Forgot about these stupid shackles! You examine the metal bracelets around your wrist and the writing etched on their surface. Now I'm just as weak as a plain old character. You were unable to heal your knee. Well, let's leave it like it is. I'll just walk it off. Or will you? My knee will be fine, I'm sure. Let's get down to business. I need to find the proportion of mortality and take it out of here. Uh, crowbar apart. Nothing but bones, no potions. A lockpick sure would come in handy. I'm pretty sure I had a lockpick or something like one. I need to go back to reality and check my apartment. Alright, lockpick. Yeah, it's these things I couldn't access before. Hmm. And here's a lockpick.
You slowly test all the pins in the lock with your lockpick until you hear a click. What the? He's dead. Your gaze travels up to the wound on the walker's temple. That looks like a bullet hole. The capsule around the dead man's neck starts vibrating and you hear a soft voice coming from inside it. Nice one, Sherlock! Who are you? Sorry for interrupting you. You were saying something about my partner here? Go ahead, continue. He's your partner? We were on our first job, but it didn't end well. I'm sorry. Hang on, who are you? A character? Yes, I think so, sir. But you know that you're a character. Of course. That's impossible. You try and use the light to illuminate the contents of the cage, but all you see inside is a scrap of paper. That's what all my past partners said, too. Past partners? How many have you had? I don't mean to brag, but apparently the walkers were very interested in my abilities. I fetched a considerable price, and quite frequently, too. And then I ended up with a partner who died. Right. Fortunately, I was then found by a new partner, and we started working as a team. Hmm. Wait, are you calling me your new partner? That's correct. I'm sure we'll work well together, sir. Hey, new partner. I'll hang you around my neck for now and figure out what to do with you later. Wonderful! I'm back in business. Alright, there's a grate of some kind. A key. I see a key lying on the metal grate, surrounded by clouds of searing steam. I'm not picking that up. That's a stupid way to die. The key burns your finger badly and you jank your hand back. The motion jostles the key. Ouch. The key falls down through the grate. Think clink echoes from below. Why did you do that? How was I supposed to know it would be that hot? You could have asked me. I already read this book cover to cover. Several times. What do you mean you read it? You can see the text of your own book? This isn't my book. Okay, but... Wait, so that means you know everything about this place? I can find anything you need to know in the text, and I can warn you of any traps or danger. You turn and look at the dead walker. If that danger is described in the book. Alright, so you know where to find the potion of immortality I'm looking for? Yes, it's in the alchemist's pocket. Where's the alchemist? You rub your burned finger. In his laboratory, to the south. Great, we can forget about that key. I'll go straight to the alchemist. No time, no need to waste time. You can talk to Roderick at any time. Good to know. Uh, Maxim Benderson, Potion Tester, Rod 16. Partial restoration of limbs, the full immortality has not been achieved. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna, uh, crematorium. I would kind of like to get that key anyway. This definitely isn't the south. You may drag some items around. Oh, good. Physics-based puzzle solving. My specialty. These pipes lead down to the boiler room. This hatch leads down to the boiler room. Do you have anything you can use to pry it open, like a crowbar? Not quite yet, I don't. Uh, crowbar parts. Good. A dried up plant. How useful. How many crowbar parts do you need to make a crowbar? On a workbench. I need a workbench. That's not a ladder. Those are stairs. Watch out! Huh? Did you hear that? What are you talking about? Oh good, it's a giant spider. Choose one of the skills. Uh... Slash? Enemies will act after your turn is over. Let's 
thought. There we go. You were amazing. Thank you. You all right? Did that thing frighten you? No, I'm not. I've seen more of those spiders than I can even count. I just don't quite understand. What's a giant spider doing in this book? It's not in the text. It's an ink eater. They're found in books, but they're not part of the plot. The older the book, the more likely you are to run into them. And they look like spiders. Apparently, just to scare me, they can actually take on any form. Even human form? You shudder again more intensely this time. Let's not think about that. I hope there aren't any more in this book. Prisoner's helmets. How many people have been here? So, this is interesting. Um, this is a very high-concept game. It's sort of a point-and-click adventure. What the... I told you about the big twist in this book, right? Hold on, where's the alchemist? Is that him on the chair? No, the alchemist went upstairs while you were busy dig digging around. Fantastic. What is it? What's the twist in this book, Roderick? Uh, I need to... What should I do next? Remember that key you dropped through the grating? I believe it would be a good idea to go down and look for it. Well, yeah. I will in a minute. I want to see if I can find the uh, alchemy ingredient. Okay. Crowbar parts. I need a workbench. I need to assemble a crowbar. Here's a workbench. I can't use it. Cool. Great. Uh, subjects deceased. Gun case. Missing a gun. I can hear you walking around. Is that you again, you jerk? I'm not drinking any more of your crap. Come on, untie me already. Are you sure that's a good idea? Why not? I think your appearance might scare him. He'll get over it. You slowly unwind the rope, then pull the sack off the prisoner's head. Just don't panic. Oh my god, what the hell are you? I aren't you. Hey, calm down. I'm human just like you. Almost. You an alien? No, I'm a writer, but that's not important right now. <laughs> Don't distract me. Why is your t-shirt full of holes? That asshole shot me! The alchemist? Yeah, the alchemist freak. He was going on and on about all this weird stuff. He talked like he was from the Dark Ages or something. I couldn't understand most of what he said. So what'd he do to you? He gave me some nasty drink. Tastes like... Ever tried Orange Bowl? No? Well, it tasted a lot like that. Was that product placement just now? Did they get paid to put that in the book? Come on, focus. Anyway, he forced that potion down my throat and then he shot me. I'd never pain like that before. It's like my whole body was... He shot you. With 47 caliber bullets. But you're still alive. Hmm. Guess that never occurred to me. Yeah, uh, my character is like a walking book. A Division t-shirt full of bu bullet holes. Hmm. Yeah, my character is like a book and there's a little door in his head. What does that tell us? If that's a band, I've never heard of them. Forget the band logo, it's holes. His shirt's full of holes. I tested the potion of immortality on him? Finally. Come on, I'm tiny already, hey. Where are you going? Don't leave me here. I don't think I have the option to, uh, untie him, so... I still- this is the exit. I don't need to go that way. I need, uh... A way to combine things. And I don't... Seem able to find them. Find one. Chain leads down somewhere. You could use something heavy as a counterweight to raise whatever's on the other end. Oh yeah, like a prisoner's helmet. I'll go get one.
Uh, I can't get one. I want to get one. It explicitly says that you can use a prisoner's helmet as a counterweight. Just, you know, I can't actually do that. That one on the floor. Uh, hold on. I'll go back up. Wait, a workbench! Okay. We need a crowbar, right? Shouldn't be hard to make it at this workbench. Yeah, I can make it. There we go. I made a crowbar, now we can go down. Uh, I will do the thing with the prisoner helmet soon. Open it with the crowbar. Skeleton, full of pieces of metal. A furnace. There's something in the furnace. It's a crystal. Now there wasn't spoilers already. I want to find out for myself. Fine. Your arm definitely won't fit through the bars. I use a crowbar. You poke the crowbar through and move it from side to side, but the crystal doesn't budge. Damn. Can't reach it. I'm not going to try... I'm going to try using ink. I know I'm shackled, but... You let a drop of your blood, ink, fall onto the bars. This tiny portion of the world is now under your control. Are you sure it's a good idea to use ink with those shackles on? Ah. The shackles start burning you with cold, but you finish your work before they can do any damage. I can handle it for a little bit. You pull the bars apart with your bare hands. The bars move easily, bending to your will. You'll never believe it. There's a crystal in here, isn't that something, Roderick? Huh? Roderick? I've decided to call you that. It has a nice ring to it. Excuse me, I have my own name, you know. But you said you don't remember it. I never said that. So do you know what your name is? It definitely has the letter H in it. Hugh? I'm not sure. I don't like the name Hugh. You're Roderick now. Maybe I would have been better off staying with my last partner. This is trying to be, uh, witty. I'm not sure it's making it. But... Again? So it's not a real jail. It's real, but stop. No spoilers. Fine. Uh, container filled with bullet casings. Filled with ashes. Empty. A note. Greg! I saw someone in the crematorium last night. Either a thief got in somehow or one of the alchemists' immortality experience worked. In any case, be careful. What's up? You sensing something again? Yeah, whatever's up ahead is not pleasant. If you have anything you can use to heal yourself, I'd do that now. Oh, well, okay. All the stored jewels and food shall be given to Brickcaria, Brahmin, daughter of Edmund III, after no more than three days. Okay. Yeah, okay. Start over here. Go ahead and finish it off. Requires 30 ink, which I don't have. Actually, I don't have any ink. Oh. I can drain some, though. Okay. Alright. So, ink management is a thing in this game. chest and among the ordinary wooden boxes catches your eye. You grab the lid, but you can't lift it. I think it's locked. Use a lockpick. Bunch of stuff. 
I was kind of hoping that, uh... Down here in the boiler room, I might be able to turn off the boiler. You know, get that steaming hot key. Do I even need this key? It opens the front door, which is the only way up. So, you need it. You rub your burn fingers through your glove. I can check in the text if you want. Are you sure it's cool now? It was so hot not that long ago. Alright, can you check just in case? Of course, I'd be glad to. And here it is. The key isn't hot. You should be able to pick it up just fine. Great. As soon as your fingers close around the key, a wild howling echoes up from the depths of the jail. Your hand shakes, and the key as if waiting for the opportunity falls out of your grasp and down through the gate. Who the hell is that? It's better you don't know. So, this is... I definitely like what this is trying to do. It's very much a point-and-click adventure without the uh, pointing and clicking. With some RPG elements. Where did that key fall to? Right here. You see the key lying on the solid stone floor. There's no great for it to fall through this time. Something feels off. From here on out, I trust no one. Not you if you're a little book or anyone else. You take a deep breath. Slowly, carefully, you pick up the key from the floor. You suddenly turn your head, looking all around you for signs of a disturbance. The room is still and silent. You finally have the key. It's covered in ashes and quite cold to the touch. Well, you can never be too careful, right? And most importantly, we can open the front door now. Good. Cool. Now the question is, uh, that prisoner helmet thing. Let's go back and find... one away from the pile. The real popular cynical cop one from the other year. Uh, that would be... Disco Elysium. I don't think this is much like it, honestly. That time. Either way, I think we've seen enough. Uh, this is interesting, but it isn't grabbing me as much as I would think. Like, I'm, I like it, and I'm curious about it. But I'm not sure that, uh, not sure I'm going to be playing, playing it. Use your power to, to journey between reality and book worlds, and steal legendary items like Thor's hammer and Excalibur to restore your ability to write. Because, you know, property theft is the best way to, uh, The best way to help yourself. Alright, we have about 20 minutes more. I'm gonna do... At least one or two more. Um... <sighs> Let's see. I have been... Well, let's do some violence, shall we? I like violence. And I've been really itching to do some violence. Like, I love these cute, cozy, sweet games. But every now and then, I just have to, like, kill something. So, let's play Agent 64. Spies never die. It's Goldeneye. It's just Goldeneye, okay? Okay. Let me just delete. I played like, you know, a few minutes of it. Unknown armed assailants have taken over the skyscraper and are looking for you. Given their numbers, they seem to know who you are and your abilities. Put them out of action and escape the tower. Capture? Sorry? Ah, oh, god dang it. 
This isn't working again. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, um, you guys have to remind me sooner. Sorry about that. Yeah, I can see it now. Good. Uh, agent, special agent, or 64 agent. This guy's mid, mid tier. I suck. So yeah, this is uh, straight up Goldeneye. Um, I have more ammo for this. If I really need to say anything else. Uh, elevators are locked on this floor. All right. Press mouse two to target and shoot the padlock. Oh, they even implemented like the shitty N64 aiming controls. somebody moving around down there. Oh! Nope, you guys come up here. Okay. Uh, the aiming controls are... Exactly what you would expect. Like, it feels like you're trying to aim with a gummy analog stick. Which really is perfect for the- can I? No, there's no crouch button. I mean, naturally. Oh, hi! I wonder if there are health pickups? Not here, it doesn't look like. Oh wait, can I just... Here's the door. But no, I don't think I can dual fist it with two N64 controllers. Which is like the best way to play Goldeneye. Okay. What, nothing? Nothing, Tralala? Fine. Surprising, I got surprised.
elevators on the yeah, elevators are locked. Okay. Uh, what does that do? Um, decoder. Oh, you have to. You have to actually hit it for that to work. Toilet stall, of course. Can't duck. But I'm willing to bet they're the guy in the st Yeah. I think I got- I think I got him. Okay, cool. I hear somebody somewhere. Down here. What are you all doing out here? No health left. I don't think I can double O agent my way out of this. Whoa! This is incredibly authentic to the GoldenEye experience. Like, everything about this feels like this was made by people who studied the game intimately. All that's missing is the ability to, like, shoot the, hell the hats off, guys. Oh, shit. Can you open the door to the ground floor? Door, follow me! You're gonna move as slowly as possible. This game really understands the golden eye, like, assignment. Oh, yes! Open the door, open the- it's open! Thanks for saving me! Thank you, goodbye! accomplished. Uh, now I just have to escape the tower. Oh, 
Oh no, he's doing a dodge roll. He's unstoppable. Run. Accomplished. Beat the car time to unlock a new paradox. It's a paradox. Could I speed run this in two minutes? It's just like get downstairs, right? Like, oh, functionally, it's just get downstairs, right? Way through the mission. So that is pretty good. Um, if I were marginally more nostalgic for the N64 and error fight against state of the art 1997 enemy AI, if I was slightly more nostalgic for the N64 era, I would be all over this. As it is, it's definitely wish listed because, like, it's it's Goldeneye, it's just Goldeneye. Goldeneye was good. So, yeah, wish listed. Um, we have five minutes for another demo. Well, you know what? Maybe I'll go a little bit over. Um, what might be short? I don't know. As long as we're already doing violence to things. Let's try the Beyond Sunset demo. which I will change over to in just a moment. Soon as it's loaded. Let's try a little more violence. Um, alt tab over, game. Okay. New game. Uh, prelude, I guess. Average. This is... Intended for players familiar with shooters. Okay. Is it not updating? It's not updating. Oh, why isn't it up? Hold on. I remembered to change it this time. It's not my fault. Uh... No, it's not that. How does it need to be f being windowed? Hold on. Uh, video, full screen, no. Choose a resolution preset. Go with the 16 by 10 aspect. Why changes? Alright, well this will get us something. Uh, let me try a 16 by... Yeah, this is a GZ Doom game, apparently. Let's try 720. Apply changes. Now I can stretch it out into the box. That's good. Okay. So all you missed was a little bit of text scrolling. 
Enter a command to continue. Open LC16. Stat defrost. Name L16. Divergence 4. No descendants. Good status. Normal vitals. Combat reflexes. Jump boots and tactical dash. Jump boost and tactical dash. Run a combat simulation. Alright. Xanadu! Alright. I can jump, I can double jump. I can slide. Air dash. I can block with a katana. Whoa! Get close to targets and press F to lunge with Katana. Replenishes health and ammo, okay. A little bit of Doom 2016 there. To get lost, you can push tab to view the auto map. Good to know. Although I'm kind of question marked. I got a secret. Okay, exit. Uh, I went the wrong way. Hold on. Can I zoom the- yeah, okay. Despite all my rage, I'm still just a rat in a cage. Uh, press F1. This concludes your training. Cool. Simulation complete. Let's get out there and do some fighting. Genem Corporation Tissue Laboratory. Oh sh! Well, we're done. Goodbye. Okay, never give up. Never give up. Never surrender. It's always something I forget. It's always something. Playing. It's always something. But yeah, this is Beyond Sunset. In the GZ Doom engine. It is a uh, fast paced cyberpunk style shooter, as I recall, from the page. Can't go there. Uh, that didn't get me anywhere. I like jumping. It's fun. Alright, up here. There we go. Okay. Nope, not like that. I'm not very good at platforming. Why mention this? Alright. 
Okay, there. Take it calm, take it easy. Take it... Gravity! Just air that straight down. Get it over with. Uh, I swear to you, we will see the inside of a level at some point. Like, a level that isn't this. Whoa. that is. Oh, it's a crane. Um, uh, none of these open. I don't know if these are real doors. These are boxes. Oh, wait, can I... Well, one of these has to open, then. Oh, it did open. I think I just went back in the cryostasis tube. Oh, here we go. Uh, hey, don't mind me. I'm just escaping. Whitmore. Um, uh, email? Due to recent security breach, all employees must update their workstation passwords. Okay. Thank you for the sword. I am honored and grateful. Okay, cool. Yeah, open the gate. And then there is a sword. No, I want the sword. Give me the sword. Okay, thank you. Now I have a sword. Ho, ho, ho. fucking noise you made there, man. You proud of that noise? Are you happy you made that noise? Hey, that's health. I want that. You need the health. <sighs> there, uh, some other gate I can open? Email, camera feeds. No, I guess not. Everything seems to be on lockdown. I've been... You don't belong here. That's true, thank you. Okay. <laughs> wow. It just seems really it is like Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright. I think I've got this. I think I'm doing fine. Oh, shit. to say the words, the magic words. Oh. Alright. You know what, I'm staying with the, I'm staying with the sword. Sword's my best chance. been this way. I'm gonna go this way. Compact submachine gun! Well, yes, I would. Thank you. Thank you very much. Charge shots for your energy pistol can break shields. I missed one. After all that, I missed one. Die, chair. Die. Die. You're not... Die. Why aren't you dying? Well, you can live. You're on thin ice, chair. Oh, boy. Um... Alright. I think what we've proven here is that this particular game is not for me. Uh, I'm not particularly good at this game. But this was... Beyond Sunset. Press anything. Escape. Quit. Bye. This was Beyond Sunset. Um. Cyberpunk, third person shooter with rich story and RPG elements. You are Lucy, an enhanced street samurai searching for lost memories. Fight in large open interactive levels, overtaken by Yakuza, zombies, robots, and bosses. I mean. You can see why I downloaded this. It's got everything I want in it. But it's a little too fast-paced for me. I got my butt kicked in. If you're better at not getting your butt kicked in, maybe you will enjoy this one. Unfortunately, my butt is extremely dented at this time. And that's where I think I'm going to end the stream for now. Uh, we've still got quite a few demos left to go. And honestly, I could go for another hour. I kind of want to go for another hour, but I think I should give people a chance to sleep and unwind after this one. So, let me just check Twitch. I'll see if anybody is readable. Ah, nobody that I'm really looking for. And I wish you all the best. You know? Like... Man, there are at least two more demo nights 
and maybe on maybe this weekend I will actually like just sweep through and finish them. I'm not sure. It's tempting. But for right now, I am exhausted. Uh that's enough of that. Good night, everybody. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for enjoying. If you enjoyed. If you didn't enjoy, I don't care. <laughs> ah, good night.